Woo. How many did I do of this? 15 now? Three. Three? Oh dear. How many left? Nine more. Uh, eight. Eight. Three plus eight, eleven. Oh. Okay, let's go then. Woo! With you, and I know it's good. This morning, this morning, this morning, I'm okay. This morning, I'm okay. Hi, and welcome. Oh, fuck, I forgot you. <sighs> At least I realized at the beginning. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about. This morning, I'm okay. Men eaters living on the mountain. Fuck. For the fourth task, Hercules had to bring back alive this giant pig, men eaters living on the mountain called Eurymanthus. Hercules could have gone straight away to his purpose, but instead he decided to walk around and see if he could screw with somebody's life, and so decided to go to see his friends on the way. The centaur, Pholus. Centaurs were savages, except for two of them. Pholus, the friend of Hercules, and Chiron, or Chiron, depends on the nature, which was immortal and very wise. Pholus was in possession of a very good wine given by Dionysus himself, who told him at the time to give some to Hercules when he will be passing by, because he was probably watching reality TV up there, following Hercules. Don't know how it works. See? I don't know. But he gave him, <laughs> but he gave him wine and told him to share with Hercules, which Pholus will do. But the centaurs, attracted by the smell, will say that it's their one and attacked Hercules, who, using the arrows previously dipped in the poison, will kill many of them. And in the battle, Hercules will shot by a mistake, Chiron. But Orkan, Chiron is immortal. Yes, but you still could feel the pain, which he did. It was so unbearable that he begged the gods to take back the immortality so he could die. And the gods agreed. Pholus, a little bit curious to know how such a tiny arrow could kill such monsters, will take the arrow in his hand. And the arrow slapped and fell on his foot. Pause. Foot. Pause. And he died. Hercules, 650 points. People were nice to him. Zero. I'm gonna go for the pig now. Huh? If you don't mind. Before he goes, he's gonna bury his friend. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Hercules, on the advice of the now dead Chiron, will lure the animal into thick snow, making it hard to run away, and he'll use a giant net to catch him. To catch him? Making it hard to run away, and he'll use a giant net to catch it. Then carried it away to Arisus, who got scared and asked to get rid of it. This king, <laughs> not saying anything. It's morning, it's morning, it's morning, I'm okay. It's like, <laughs> All the people look at me like I'm in a little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 wow. I'm a slave. Oh, yeah. I'm hot and I'm hungry. I want to eat something. This morning, I'm okay. This morning, I'm okay.
So King arises and pulls to Hercules to clean the Ogins. 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 The Ogins stables in one day. Now, King Ogias was extremely rich and owned more cattle than anybody in Greece. So it was dirty. Like, really, really dirty. Yes, the fifth task is cleaning. <coughs> Hercules will explain to Ogias that he will clean the cattle not at all. Hercules will explain to Ogias that he will clean his stables in one day if in exchange the king gives him a tenth of his cattle, without even once mentioning that it was a task given by Arises. Ogias agreed, Hercules took his son as a witness and then proceeded to clean. <coughs> he started by making opening in the wall and then dug wide trenches to turn the course of two rivers, Alpheus and Peneus, which did the job and the cleaning was due in time. Hey, no problem, all good. <laughs> Ogias, in the meantime, learned that Hercules took the job on the order of Arithus. <laughs> Oops. And refused to pay him. and declared that he will have the matter decided by justice. The son bore witness against his father, and the son ruled that payment must be made. The king will then exile his son and Hercules, because he's the king and he doesn't give a shit about justice. The boy went to his aunt, and Hercules headed back to Mycenae, where it will be told by Arasus that it doesn't count. Indeed, because he got paid, this labor didn't count. Oh, come on, I've modified a full ecosystem for that. After this amazing success, no one died. Hmm, yeah, that's true. The sixth labor has been given, and he will have to get rid of the birds gathering around the lake nearby the town of Stiphalos. Good morning. Oh no, this song in my mind. The Staphylian birds were monstrous birds with a brown beak and the nasty habits of devouring humans. Their feathers were sharp metallic and could be thrown at their prey, and as it wasn't enough, their tongue were poisonous. <laughs> yeah, we are slightly away from snow white birds. <laughs> and those lovely birds were a creation of the god of war, Ares. Hate. Okay, and how the hell am I supposed to get rid of them? When Athena came to his aid, and gave him a special weapon crafted specially for the occasion by Ephesus himself, a pair of crotala. Wait, 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 isn't it like castanets? Can't I have normal weapons for once? Like something glorious? Castanets. So he climbed the nearby mountain and clashed at the noisemaker very loudly, and it worked. The birds got scared. And once they were flying and close enough, he will shot them with arrows. A few birds still alive flew away. Flew away? The few birds still alive flew away for never to be seen again. Hercules picked up the dead birds and bring them back to the king. Hey, that's a success. Well done, me. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, the bell. See you next week, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose, so smile. Good morning birds, good morning trees. I'm always being a morning person, a morning bird. Hooray, I'm here in the dark.
And we're come so far. Okay, this is back. No problem. All good. I've modified a cool, a cool thing. <laughs>